Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 598. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 597 to 603. Hey, we have a straightforward here, forward one here. Someone asked about um, calculating hours worked in the day, except for we have a lunch break. So you come in at 8 a.m., lunch out at 11 a.m., come back in at 11.30 a.m. and leave at 4.30. So time, since time, if I do a little formula here, and then control shift tilde to get rid of the formatting, you can see time is the proportion of one 24-hour day. Now in general, we would just um, take whatever the end time is and subtract the earlier time, right? That would give us the total. Uh, difference between 0.6875 and this, right? That, th this amount right here, if I control shift tilde or I'm going up to um, general, control shift tilde, tilde is to the left of one. That applies the general format. And for time and date math, you want to do that a lot. That's how many, that's a proportion of one 24 hour day. Now, of course, to get it to hour, to get it to hours, you simply multiply it by uh, 24. Now, this obviously is not going to work. This is just illustrating the idea here. There's 8.5, the total uh, time between these. But we also need to take out this. Actually, let me control Z here. We uh, need to take out a half an hour right here. So we need to take this minus this. Um, minus, and I'm going to go this minus this. Now we're going to have to put a parenthesis there because multiplication comes before any of these subtract uh, any of the subtraction here. Now we can actually simplify this, but this gets you gets the idea. That's how many hours we worked. Um, and for a lot of people, if you're doing time calculation, you know that makes perfect sense. I t took the total difference and then I subtracted the lunch. However, we can go ahead and um, uh, carry this inside using the distributive theory. Minus of a minus is plus, and minus of a plus is a minus. So we can actually go like this to make it a little bit shorter. And then we only need one set of parentheses there. just on the outside. And so that formula will work just fine. That is, those are the hours. The advantage of doing it this way, you, there's formatting you can use to show total hours. But the advantage is that if you have you know, $12, right, then the total wage gross pay is the 12 times the 8. If only I could type that. I get it right now. OK, there we go. All right. Um, time for worked in a day, including a lunch break. We'll see you next trick.